for good morning. Oh, there she is, all illuminated in her glory. Welcome home. I'm glad you. you had safe travels home. It is the check in for week 11, which means that we will be embarking this week on our final uh, chapter through the artist's way. So, through this spiritual path to higher creativity, really, um, I don't, I just all of a sudden, I think between weeks eight and 12, I don't know where time goes. <laughs> so that's, that's what I'll start with by saying, but let's, uh, here we are. Week 11 was all about recovering a sense of autonomy. And, uh, we will talk about some of the, um, chapters that were in here. Acceptance. Oh, that's a big one. Success. What is success? Yeah. The Zen of sports. I liked that. And I think there's usually one more. Uh, oh, building your artist altar. Oh, then tasks and check-in. So who wants to kick us off on this discussion of check-ins and artist dates and pages and synchronicities and whatever else? Who wants to start the conversation while I take a sip of coffee and wake up? I have th two things to say. I will say <laughs> one on, on synchronicity. I have something to say and a recommendation for next year as we start on chapter eight and go to chapter eight and go back to chapter one because I am hmm. I'm overwhelmed and I'm I'm way 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 behind. And that but usually happens. Synchronicity happen has been. Oh come on, come on, computer! On my internet. Yeah. Okay. Synchronicity has been just in neon lights around my house. Every place I go, things that we do, it's just been like, and I, I right now, of course, I can't think of as of a an example, but we just say, oh my goodness, that's just and, and you're just noticing it. I love that because the more you notice it, the more, the more you see it, and and it could be like, yeah, it could be the smallest things, like if you're looking for something or. The way that timing, all the green lights, whatever it is that just falls into place to assist. Yeah. Very cool. During your trip with specifically with Zigrid here? With with her here. I mean, with a person that I ha I don't see that often and have known mm -hmm. for 25 years. Yeah. The, the similarities, the, the synchronicity, it's bizarre. She needs, well, I and I was just thinking... What's your thought? No, go ahead. I don't what? want to interrupt your thought. Oh, I'll remember mine. I wonder if Artist's Way is in German, if they have a German oh. version. Oh, they have to. I, they I would do, right? Know. Yeah. I, would I, think I, I want to look into that. So dare. So dare. <laughs> I don't know. Like, <laughs> I can't even put anything together. <laughs> um, but what, what, <laughs> one that, one of the synchronicities that I noticed with you too is that, um, you know, on my Monday morning Magi call last week, Zigrid joined us and it was on the the sevens and finding out that Zigrid is also a seven, that both of you oh, are sevens are seven. um, or have Magi cards of the seven, that right. number and that she was there. It was like, oh, that is so fun. That's a synchronicity that she just happens to be here, you know, the week that we're discussing, the right. seven, you know, um, yeah. 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 Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. So when you say you've fallen off, is it mostly in terms of like the reading, listening to the chapters, doing the tasks? What about writing? What? <laughs> what about writing? That's why I said what? Oh, yeah, oh. what? Writing? Oh, I see. I see. What's that? <laughs> it's been, um, it, it's my, my focus has just been yeah. ab absorbed. Yeah. Elsewhere. I, I, I have thought about it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I, I hear what you're saying. Like you somewhere around week eight. I mean, it does, it, 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 um, it's a long time to devote to it. And, um, oh. yeah. Yeah. But and I was so into it and I just, I just have been overwhelmed outside of of it yeah. with yeah you've got you've got a friend yes. visiting from germany and you've been traveling and um and that's all good it's all and good every uh, time we turn around we're somewhere 
Yeah. Right. Right. It just, it changes the energy and the, and the ability. Even I noticed that when I have somebody, you know, here, like even if I start writing, you know, the time the person wakes up and then you're talking and then you've written like a half a paragraph and you're like, all right, now we're. Yeah. Yeah. Goodbye. Okay. So okay. That's, that's my, my, your honest check-in. My honest check-in. Yep. Uh, oh, good. I want to go next then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Honest check-in. Honest um, check-ins. That's what we're I, This second week in a row, I guess, traveling, I guess I was yeah. disgruntled, you know, and, and had a lot going on uh, emotionally, mentally, but again, I read my chapter last night. Okay. And then I have notes of uh, really good tasks, really good information because we do that. Uh, we we are attached to outcome and we don't want to start because we're worried about how it'll finish. Uh, we do that. <laughs> we will never start. So I'm looking yes. forward to doing all the tasks. Um, I thought of Esmeralda while I was reading it. Right, <laughs> he's like wanting to come out and play. Come on out, yes, play with them. yes. Um, but my altar, I do an altar everywhere, everywhere mm. I sit. That's so neat. So I have many altars, <laughs> and um, oh, pretty. But I was called to do that again for just meditation. So I. I think the outside one, the outside Buddha is just for meditation. Mm. Um, let's see my notes. Uh, I want to tape record because I have this thing with my voice. Mm. You know, I sound like a little kid. People love my voice and like yeah. doing Savasana and people yeah. would like, they loved it, but it bothers me. So I'm going to tape my voice okay. and do the basic principles. I'm going to rewrite them. Uh, the Good. artist prayer. Uh, chapter four rework. I think I went by just just for a second, um, and write that letter to myself. Oh, that's so that, looking I forward to the tasks. Yeah, there's some really lovely, yeah, lovely tasks, and you can kind of see how it's pulling back things from the beginning and carrying it through, and just being like, as we're closing out this journey, like, yeah, yeah, carrying it forward. Okay. Thanks. Okay. And you've been traveling for two weeks. So it's, um, again, even though when we're on vacation, we get to design our, our days to a certain degree, it's, it's really interesting to see the importance of, you know, home or routine or, um, <clears throat> places yeah. and just how much easier it is when we are in our, in, in our place doing our, our natural thing versus, um, you know, being, wherever else we are or with whoever else we are that it, how much it can really throw us off of our um our schedule and or not our schedule that's not the word but our um trajectory our best intentions yeah yeah it didn't feel like like vacation it felt like work and um, then um, because you're with your so important when you're uh 92 years old yeah i really got that and then it's a lot more work to protect him yes out in the world in the cement world yeah oh. a beautiful 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 place a uh, beautiful track yeah but when you're in the stands man it's cement <laughs> yeah yeah and people yeah 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 so okay my overprotective self was on duty the All whole two weeks time. and then that that trip to the coast saved me Good. I went to uh, Yogananda's ashram twice. Oh, wow. And, yes, I love uh, Encinitas. I went and had lunch okay. with myself. It was yay. Really yeah, so I, was I love that lunch with myself. Yeah. It's That's beautiful. Fun. That's beautiful. Um, yeah. Really awesome. Okay. Yeah. And, oh, Those and are great artist thing. dates. Yes. Really great artist dates. It was, it was. And then I did the seven pieces of paper where you draw the it. seven deadlies. Yes. Oh my gosh. I got uh, three drugs and alcohol and a family. Isn't that interesting? To wow. Look, I had that problem so long ago and to relook at it, it was kind of confirming. 
how it's yeah. how that's I'm what you're on the get. right path. Wow. Yeah. So okay. interesting yeah. that that you know that that's allowed, you know, to be pertinent instead yeah. of random. It's not random. It was very pertinent. Because mm -hmm. I, I just want to piggyback on that because I remember Mare talking about hers and, and family kept coming up for Mare. And so mm -hmm. um what came and then drugs and alcohol came up mostly for you. Like family never came up for me. Mine was work and money three times. I, it was work mm -hmm. and money. And then I had one other one where I was just like, oh, okay, okay, here it here it is. And and that's so true. Like, I mean, work is my my drug right now. I think it's, you know, when things get uncomfortable, I, I work. And, and I was talking, I think with Mare about, um, unproductive fun versus productive fun. Cause I'm like, ah, oh, here I am. I'm trying to have unproductive fun and my mind is going, it's either thinking about Teotihuacan or it's thinking about my Magi class, or it's thinking about, you know, this mystery school that I'm, um, that I'm creating the announcements will be coming soon. Um, and, and it's, it's still fun for me. And, and that's what Mara said. It's just productive fun. It's productive fun and allowing some of that productive fun to be there because that is also part of my energy signature as a four of spades. Like work is so like learning my, not my value through work, but like work is such an important integral part of who I am designed to be in this body that it's, it's just making the peace with it, but not getting it out of balance. And I do see escapism into it, especially when something starts to feel like, oh, that's not comfortable. I'm just going to pour into work. Um, really, really interesting to notice. <laughs> and then those darn strips, like, how did that come up? Like, I don't get how it worked that way, but it was very interesting process. And I had never done oh, that right. task before. Try it again in like six months and see what you guys pull. Oh, that's a great idea. And that just could be something see. fun. Like just put it in the calendar, like put a task mm -hmm. in your calendar six months yeah. from now, seven deadlies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So Mayor, <laughs> what about you? Tell us about your week. Well, first off with listening to everybody, um, Julia Cameron wrote this before the Magi was a thing. So yeah. remember like all this advice that she's giving is great. But you have a you have a soul that has a purpose and you're yeah. trying to like I think all the things you guys did, it sounded like you guys were like hard on yourself about what I didn't do. Mm. Look at what you did do. Like look at Kimberly. So she read right. the chapter last night. Who cares? Look at all the stuff you got to go. Yeah, it was a lot yeah. of work with your dad. Yeah. But kudos for being able to pull some time up for yourself, babe. Yeah. Is that yes. Yes. Thank you. And for Blythe, you know, just, I'm sorry, the book versus your friend who's coming to the country. To, forget it. <laughs> it's right. like, hello. Right. 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 <laughs> you know? it. Yeah. You're absolutely yeah. right. Like that bigger perspective of like, we're in this trend, you know, trend, uh, corner of life. Yeah. Like life yeah. is. Yeah. I think it's awesome that you guys saw, you noticed it, you know. Yeah. But okay, yeah. let it go now. <laughs> yeah, blow it away. Yeah. Um. So there you go. That's my thing. Goodbye. Let's have a good day. <laughs> that was my check in. <laughs> Just kidding. Mm -hmm. Um. I was excited to hear what your seven strips were. So I'm glad you guys said that because otherwise I would. Um. Of course, like the chapter. I really like the audible. Because I read this thing on Sunday, Monday, and this morning I thought, what is this chapter even about? Yes, isn't that crazy? Yeah. Well, also, Mare has got Teo Tuacan book, and she's got, I mean, I'm reading too many oh. things. <laughs> you're, re you're reading the four agreements right now as well? I'm reading the four agreements. I've got a little crystal Bible that every time I pull something oh. up, I'll take a picture of it and then run to the Bible to see if it's right. And yeah. Oh, fun. Um. Um. Like a true so, ten of clubs, you have a lot on yeah. your mind. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a good thing. I mean, yeah. I'm so yeah. It's I will not complain about this kind of busy because yeah. it's feeding my soul, and just like being able to sit down. I did have some unproductive fun, but it wasn't. It was just me wanting to pull through things and pull stuff out and 
and realize that I've got all these great supplies tucked away in boxes. And I'm like, no, I got to get this stuff out. Ooh. Because if I'm going to sit here and ask who wants to play, I got to bring everybody out so I can yeah, you know, look at all that stuff. But then I start to get it's too much stuff. <laughs> oh, right, right. I need to get it organized. Yeah. But um, I liked all the tasks. I did um, writing every day. It wasn't a whole page half the time. Um, but it was like more later. And then I would, yeah. of course, just go back to it. I did the um, the little notebook thing. That was awesome. That was really the awesome. The thing. task number two, where she wants you to get a little notebook and you write down um, oh. the possessions, leisure, relationships, all that stuff. Look on page 190. Yeah. Oh, a special. Okay. Number three. Yeah. But a special creativity notebook. Yeah. Yeah. That part was cool. Yeah. Um, what was the other one? Choosing an essay. I was telling Kimberly, there was one that I really liked that choose the essay. But of course, I didn't I didn't mind hearing myself do the uh, you know, recording myself for the other thing. But then when it came to the um essay, I loved the one that was shame. Oh. But I think I went back to another one in the front in the beginning mm. of it that was a little bit smaller. Mm -hmm. Um because it had a little bit more of a, yeah, I read that one mm -hmm. out loud. And I didn't care about my voice. I did in the beginning of all this stuff, but you're letting, whatever. that's awesome. Yeah. If yeah. I want to try to be on a podcast or have something like that or speak in front of people, I better start getting okay yeah. with the voice. And well, yeah. And there's nothing, I mean, the voice, and I would say the same thing happens to me as well, or I feel that way um, sometimes, you know, and it's like, that's my voice. <laughs> it's my voice. Okay. Well, it's like Kimberly's face when she, before in the beginning, she didn't want to be on camera. And I'm like, mm -hmm. she's so beautiful. I just don't oh, beautiful. get it. So beautiful. You've been so, hiding for a while. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it's hard to, it's hard to uncover and just be like, here I am. Mm. Here I am. And I yeah. love that. And I love that. And she does have a great voice. She does need to, you should yeah. do a meditation with her. My God. <laughs> the voice um, coming soon coming soon yeah I think all the artist date stuff I did I was getting I was um getting hard on myself for not getting to the library but it was I really wanted to be in here and play and yeah and you, really you said you were gonna do that yesterday yeah did you is there a I did I made um I made the kids Barbie houses these like long pillows so that I can they could turn their couches into like little day beds oh and I have uh some lace from their wedding from from their little dresses from their parents wedding and I just kind of put that around it and made it like this little yeah oh fun it was wow. fun yeah I just sat there and played with Barbie stuff and that's so great <laughs> I love and, that yeah that was fun um the, all the other, yeah, so anyways, I, all the other tasks, I did most of them, except what I thought was really strange, which is so weird. When you took the notebook and you wrote all the, the health and the yeah. spirituality and all that, I, I don't know, it, and I have no reason to do it, but I totally skipped over the relationship part. Okay. So you've got 10 things you're supposed to write, and I was like, zoom, 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 and zoom, zoom, it. zoom. The creativity, I stopped at like five, and then... It was just weird just now when I was reading back some huh. of this, the career. I only did like two and spirituality. I did six and I thought, well, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot. I mean, that's a lot of wishes, a lot of yeah. um, <laughs> how yeah. many category? health, possessions, leisure, relationships, creativity, career, and spiritual. So seven. So that's 70 wishes. This is task. Yeah. Number um that's, with that's a as lot. 10 wishes let yourself dream okay dream a little um so i have i have a lot i mean of course the health i've got huge wish list okay. and then the possessions and the leisure after that like i don't and i i don't think it's a bad thing that i don't have a lot of wishes for relationships because i'm pretty full now like if you would ask me this a couple of years ago i would have asked for friends i would have asked you know what i mean and I have interesting. So you're feeling yeah. okay. Okay. So you feel like it's more like because you're full in that um, capacity, you're you, there's nothing like you're 
your desires in that area are fulfilled versus yep. the the opposite being like i i'm afraid to even articulate what i am desiring from relationships because admitting that i want more is okay you know, goodbye <laughs> <laughs> hey okay, i didn't doctors. even do the task so i'm just sitting here from a super cushy zone <laughs> like being like i didn't even get the notebook i'm like what task damn it i thought it was so i mean it's just a question mm -hmm. right it's something to consider it's something yeah. to consider because you you're the one who noticed that there was nothing there and so that is it, just I love the idea of just getting curious with it. Like not, you know, again, it's not being shameful about it, not anything like that. It's just like, I wonder, I love those two words right now. I wonder, mm -hmm. uh, it's just so much more freeing than why. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I wonder, um, yeah, I did not, I did not um, do that task. Did anybody else? I don't, I don't think so. So like kudos to you for just exploring it. And you got a separate notebook for that. Cause the, here's part of me. I was like, why would I get a separate notebook? It's just going to be seven pages. <laughs> I don't. Mm -hmm. have to <laughs> That's hilarious. I, I almost didn't, but then I realized all the other stuff I could finish the tasks in the book. So I did that. Okay. Instead of, cause I found, oh. right the end of the course, of course, I'm sitting there searching for the parts of the of the task that we did in my yeah. notebook and mm -hmm. it's just so I thought okay well fine I might as well just finish the rest of the tasks in this little guy just because yeah. I, I recently found him I didn't yeah that's a good idea <clears throat> has anybody gone back and read their artists uh, I mean their morning pages with the two highlighters yet has anybody yes. done that you have I finally I did I was gonna do that this week I have not I've not done it but it's interesting to see like my old journals because some of them um or my old notebook, some of them have my letters from Luna, the first drafts that I've done. And so I could see where I did the highlighting in years prior, but I haven't. Yeah, I th I think my pacing right now is still, it's still coming back down. I mean, I've been doing also like a lot of travel and here and there. And just like this week was a settling in week for me. Um, And I didn't yeah, I didn't do, I didn't do a lot. I did, you know, I'm really good with my writing. So that is probably my comfortable space to, to start the day that way. Um, and I did have my most favorite artist date yet this week. Um, that yeah. what's that? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Where it was, it, it was one of those things that, um, and it, it was based in last week's call where it was treat yourself to something lovely every day. And as I'm trying to balance work life and I knew I wasn't going to have the kids and I was probably, that would probably mean I would work even more because that's what I do. Um, that putting something on the calendar every day that I would do something. So I went to Karenna's moon circle on Tuesday. I had a friend over on Monday and then on, on Wednesday, I thought I was going to go to a live after five to go see the live music that ended in July, I, you know, and, but I found out, I just hopped online to see what was happening. And that's when I found out about the 50% off on paddle boards. I was like, oh, I love to paddle board. So from going from the paddle boarding to, to grabbing a beer afterwards, where I just happened to meet somebody who I'm fascinated by a fellow astrologer. Um, and, and we'll see, we'll see where that goes. We'll see where that goes. It's like a, um, it's going to be a slower, moving um get to know you um type of situation and that's really I would say target no target slower a more, more slower target. moving target <laughs> i mean yeah we'll see i don't know so it's just like i was thanking julia cameron <laughs> so strongly for like this is this is why we do this work is that you know the, you know I am desiring a relationship with somebody who is, you know, pretty far along on their healing journey and all of that. And um, to have met this person that I met, it was just really very, yeah, synchronous, 
synchronicity like that was so cool just you know the timing the conversation the intrigue and then we'll see like and then it's going to be like a slower role which is good for me so that it might actually turn into something healthy <laughs> you know amazing that's um, amazing yeah it was I was like thanks Julia for just giving me the boost to get outdoors um trying to think what I did on Thursday, Friday, you know, like every day though, I've, I've put something at the end of my day. That's something to, um, to look forward to. And, and that treat, you know, kind of that treat yourself to something lovely every day. Um, mm -hmm. but then, like you said, like, I can't remember all the, all the days I'm like, what did I do? Mm -hmm. What did I do? Um, yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. So let's get into some of this, um, some of the nitty gritty. Wow, I don't even have much underlined in week 11. Ah, creativity is its own reward. Creativity, success. Okay, well, the Zen of sports. I kind of like the Zen of sports, the idea of, um, you know, allowing our body to get sort of into a meditative state through movement. Does anybody have that experience where they get the ideas when in movement or creative inspiration or, or the role of movement, the role of sports in your life? Is there, is there one? I always feel better when you exercise, when you get your circulation going, you got yeah. oxygen in your blood. I mean, that's a physical need. And of course it stimulates your brain too. Yeah. I noticed cause I missed it for two weeks. I had such a good habit. Mm. Yeah, a little, I'm a little negative. I'm going to get over that immediately. It's okay. Um, I'm excited to be home. So Yay. I can yeah, nurture well, myself, right? Yeah. Take care of myself. It's easier here. And I have help here. And um, yeah. 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 It just does everything I've talked about seems negative, but I'm a blessed person. Yeah. Yeah. So, and, and, and like coming home from vacation is also like, yeah. it's like your urn. <laughs> reality and then you're like oh laundry oh you know grocery store like all the money yeah, it's all joy for me to be home it's like good. easy oh yeah, good easier easier tasks easier care uh easier uh more nourishment for me i have mm -hmm. i have mayor here i have you guys here mm -hmm. um, i have caretakers that don't come this week so it'll be more for me so i'm really gonna nurture myself okay yeah yeah and what was the exercise that you were doing or the movement? Do you walk? I get on the bike every day when I'm here. Oh, good. I got on it once there. They had a gym, but I only went to it once. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, and then I, uh, and then I do yoga every morning and I, and then I have a pool right here. I want to go start swimming. I did get in the pool in San Diego and I can walk up the stairs, uh, oh, you know, because well, they're yeah. not stairs. You have to walk up the ladder. So I could do it. So I'll be able to go do laps at YMCA now. Yay. Oh. This is my favorite, my favorite form. The water uh, the swimming. She aerobic. Yeah. 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 I, like, I pretend I'm flying and I just swim for an hour. Oh, wow. Uh, glorious. Yeah. That is so great. I'll be able to do an hour, you know, today, but I can do 20 or 30 minutes for sure. Yeah. And it's so good for the body just to be supported by, I mean, uh, it's, it's really lovely. I've never, sw I've never sw swum, swam for exercise. <laughs> swam, swam. Uh -huh. Swam. Yeah. Never. Swam, yeah. Swam. I love that idea. I might have to get the nerve to go with you one day, Kimberly. I, I I'll, pick you up. I'll pick you up. Come on over. Let's do it. I, I bought a bathing suit last year because the kids want to swim. So I'm like, okay, I'm not going to not swim with them just because I don't want to be in a bathing suit. Like, yeah. that's not, they don't. And so I did. And then that, thinking about going into the jacuzzi, all the, with well, a spring, mountain spring thingy, Bobby is in the uh, Yeah. Oh yeah. God, my arms. Oh God. I had the whole thing in my head. Oh, so I went, but I went and got little things. So like, whatever, I'll just wear this over my bathing suit. Then I'll feel better. Yeah. And I won't worry about it but i love the pool i think doing water aerobics is so good i mean i yeah. strengthened my legs and my arms over the summer one time yeah a long time before my back thing but um it, i would i hear everyone talk about that runner's high i used to get a walker's high because i like to speed walk 
Hmm. But even now, just walking with Phil, we're taking it. He walks so much during the day and bless his heart comes home from all that and still goes with me over to the river to try to walk. But I'm, I can't get too far yet, but we're trying. Yet. I like the word yet. Yeah. Yeah. We're doing, uh, Saturdays, Mondays, and Thursdays, because those are the nights he's off. And so we're, we're trying to, awesome. yes, because I want to be able to walk around when we're yeah. all in Mexico. So. Yeah. 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 And then also, I mean, part of the call that we'll have about Mexico will be just, you know, some of the logistical stuff. And I don't know, I've never been to a lot of the places that we're going to in Mexico. Um, it'll be a first time experience for me, but also I don't ever want somebody to feel like, um, like either they're, they're holding anybody back. So we can also split, you know, groups and I will stay with those that need to um, just rest and go at a slower pace. If, if there is a pacing dynamic in the groups, you know, and, Mm -hmm. and the experience that we're meant to have, we're going to have. So it it doesn't matter, you know, like I don't, I, I, I don't um, foresee any, yeah. And any negative outcome from not being able to, um, to walk as far as, you know, if we need to rest, we rest. And then that in and, in and of itself creates a whole different experience of, right. you know, the stillness yeah. that other people might not get. And perhaps in observing people, I mean, who knows, or where you sit and what creatures might come and visit and bring you a spirit message. Like there's so many ways I'm just like, beyond thrilled that all three of you have said yes to to this experience that we're going to go on together and just um allow um, allow it to be what it's going to be Mm -hmm. and also applaud you that you are making that conscientious efforts to to strengthen your body as you can Mm -hmm. and and to consider swimming I think um she mentioned swimming a lot and I know that I get some of my greatest ideas in the water Mm -hmm. Uh, but it's usually like my, my swimming is called floating. <laughs> like I just love to float uh, in the water. Um, I don't swim much, like just swim. I like to, I like to splash around like a mermaid and do back dives and hands. Yeah. But um, yeah, swimming itself always feels like such a, a massive sport for me, probably because you have to do the baby. The, but the aerobics to- is like, yeah, the aerobics kind of feels because you feel like you're it's very flu- like flowy it feels so but there's supported. a nice resistance yeah there's yes. a nice resistance I, I literally am flying when I'm swimming it's like that is boring. so cool wow yeah. huh okay my mistake is I go I'm in too long and then when you go to get out of the water you feel like you weigh like 9,000 pounds and my back yeah. is like oh really yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> darn gravity <laughs> yeah. Darn, yeah my knees go nope bam yeah oh yeah yeah but Kim's the one that inspired me to do it because she said uh she was going to be walking and getting ex- getting her legs ready at in the yeah. beginning to climb the pyramids and I was like oh crap I better <laughs> oh, crap. I gotta yeah. yeah yeah it got me to okay I can do and, and it sounds like they won't let you climb the pyramids. Yeah, I know. Um, I, I'm not sure about this one, but I would be surprised. I mean, those, those, there are certain pyramids that are probably less, um, visited than say Chichen Itza and Teotihuacan that people still can climb. Like, I think it's Coba is one of them, but I really don't know if we're able to or not. Um, but my experience in Chichen Itza was we were not able to, to climb, uh, to climb them. And, understandably like <laughs> yeah you have to protect it yeah you have to protect it yeah. yeah yeah so I do not know um we shall see we shall see um sports for you mom anything on sports and movement yeah yeah um Sigrid and I have been walking every night after dinner just a short walk nice up to the mailbox nice. around in a bit and good job we've got, girls hey we've got uh-huh. Russell to come with us half of one time Whoa! Half of one time. <laughs> so we well, got halfway, and he took the shortcut home. But last night, we have in Abamore along a, a path, a, a trail that's behind my house. Um, they have those little workout areas, workout machines, and things. Yeah. And okay. our goal was to go to the one that was that she just discovered and say, 
let's check that out. <laughs> and we did it and it felt so good. Oh. And then we came back walking to the one pretty much right behind my house and it's legs and, and a pushing. And I'll tell you what, I was so right there. I'm going out every day and I'm going to be doing these Yay. two. Yeah. They're just like, they're a quarter of a mile apart. So my body. So cool. Yeah. yeah. So cool. And they do different parts of your body. And I've always looked at them and thought, yeah. End of conversation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we tried them and they were, it, both of us said it felt so good. So nice. that's my thing. I'm not, mm. I'm, I, I love to walk. That's not a problem. Swimming. Yeah. And you know, I just, I, it's, it's not convenient for me. So yeah. therefore um, I don't do it. I did synchronized swim in high school, but that was just a few years ago. You synchronized oh, swim? I synchronized swam. We we had a hot PE teacher who was, um, and and she, it, so instead of doing stupid basketball or whatever PE stuff, I, I opted for synchronized swim. Yeah, for two years. No and way. Then, yes. You would you go, go under the water and like legs and, and twirls. See, oh, this yes. is what I like to do in the water. Now it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> funny, funny, funny. So, so anyway, my my excitement right now on hearing you guys just with your exercise talk, it's just something I thought, dang, why why have I not partaken of this um, thing that's right outside my back door almost? I have to go around the end of the block. Yeah. Before, and this is right here is what made me do it her great. yay you i love her. that hold on a In second my yeah first football i football oh yeah In football so soccer she's played soccer oh yeah PDR. In, in germany ah oh, nice great sport i love soccer soccer's I my favorite oh, at, when she was younger yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, and so, you also do Tai Chi. We do Tai Chi and she's, she's, she's yeah. more right into the Tai Chi, which is that's great. That's not strenuous, but it's definitely moving and breathing. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, this is inspiring, especially on a day like today where we're mm. getting our first glimpse of cooler weather and what oh. might be available to us to go outside and do, um, yeah, it's just so gorgeous today. I can I can hardly believe it. And I'm not I'm not sure where the day will take me, but I do want to incorporate I'll probably do yoga um and a walk. I, you know, Jasper does help me walk every day. Um That's he reminds me we need to do that. Um but I'm going to think on swimming too and And where know. would you swim? I don't oh, just know. See, because like I don't, I'm I'm not excited to go to the Y. I mean, I like paddle boarding. That is something that I have very much enjoyed. And I would like to still eventually purchase one. But in the meantime, you know, 50% off on Wednesdays, it was $15 for me to go out for an hour and a half. And I paddled part of it and then I just laid back. I what I love about a paddle board is just laying back on them and just oh, yeah. staring up at the sky and Dreaming and it was hot outside, but then you dip your hands in the water and it's just like, was it crowded? It wasn't because people, you know, are back at school, a lot of the kids. So it was very uncrowded. Um, the most uncrowded that I've seen it since, um, since the summer. So that yeah. was really nice. I mean, there That's were on my secret to do list is do laps in, in that water. Yeah. And somebody was in the water swimming and I couldn't tell, I didn't, I thought at one point I saw them with a, um, with a wetsuit on and I was like, oh, that's that person's hardcore. <laughs> like, that's right. Was it cold? Wasn't that cold? Was it? I mean, the, the water is cold, but when it's, you know, a hundred degrees out, it feels so refreshing. So I don't, I mean, they were clearly going for longer. Um, but yeah, it was just somebody and they were in the main pond um, mm -hmm. I saw them come back and then go back out again. I was yeah. like, okay. I'm yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So sports and movement, like, I just really like the connection that she had with the, 
with the mind. And one of the things that I used to say when I was stuck as a teacher in the classroom, if I had like my prep period and I'm trying to create something and I couldn't place it together was get outside of the building and get outside of the building meant like I usually would take myself, um, Sage was right next to this beautiful pond and I would take myself out there and walk around the pond as many times as I needed until the ideas kind of fell into place. So it, I definitely get the correlation of, of the movement and just allowing ourselves, you know, freeing ourselves in many ways from, um, from the pressure and just like allow the body, like the energy flow, um, to move through. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool. That's why Phil and I go for drives a lot since we've had to, we've had to change the way we get out and move because yeah. of, you know, my physical. So driving is, is a good way too to get your creativity going. Well, that's why I love, I love a solo road trip. A lot of people think I'm crazy to be in the car as often oh, no. as I am for as long as I am. And especially that like this drive that I've been taking recently, I've gone twice this summer to Ashland and back where as long as you have a full tank of gas, it is so blissful because it's, it's really very much, um, you're not even seeing people. It's like driving in the mountains when you're, I mean, every now and again, there's cars, but it's just beautiful. It's trees, it's movement. It's, you know, windows down, perhaps music on, perhaps silence, but like the movement, it does, it is almost like a walking meditation. I, I really love it. I love mm. being on a road trip. Um, yeah. And so me too. Yeah. Um, yeah. Good stuff. Okay. Acceptance or success, anything come up on that? Or should we discuss about like I have this line underlined at the very beginning of acceptance. I have to free myself from determining my value and the value of my work by my work's market value. Oh, yeah. That goes along with the, uh, what was it? Attachment to outcome. Yeah. Yes, thank you, ma'am. Yep, that's Creating the one. Creating for creativity's sake. Yeah. 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 yeah creating just because it's because you have to, to be because yes yeah, who you are mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that's why I, I'm right now I'm supposed to be making a bunch of Christmas stuff and I just haven't been motivated because I have to do it oh, <laughs> so, oh, yeah and oh. so it's like I need to do some other things first yes. just to get in the rhythm of making and then I'll do it yeah what's the Christmas stuff for like just part of your gifts that you I told myself that I would go to some kind of bazaar this year or be in some kind of event this year and sell my stuff because the grandkids have begged me to do it. And I said, okay, they want to work a show. They want to go work a little booth and stuff. Oh. So I need to, I, I have a bunch of embroidered 3D type like snowmen and I make little tiny ski hats and all kinds of like little fun crafts. So I thought, okay, and I'll put some paintings together. And if nothing sells, that's a, before it was, oh, whatever I do with this money, I'll put the money away. It was always a money thing. Yeah. Now it's, I'm just going to, whatever people want to buy it for, who cares? It's a Christmas gift and you're just letting people enjoy it. So, yeah. Um. So it, and right. And that is also a, a affirmation for yourself that I am allowing myself to be seen. Mm -hmm. this, this is my creative. And that, in and of itself can just stop people cold in their tracks. You know, oh, mom, yeah. this is something that you do well. Mom does a lot of the little crafting fairs or the shows and has her cards and she'll make little, little things, but it is very, very much like a, it can be very personal mm -hmm. and can stop people from even doing it because what if they, what if nobody buys anything from me? Like, and that's just like a nasty little right. story or our, yeah. Our first experience with a craft show was when we had our cookie business and we blew up. I mean, everything was amazing. So I, that was different though. That also had people, a whole army of people helping us. Yeah. I'm the only one producing. So when I, it feels like it's just for me to do, but that's why I thought I'm just, I don't want to try to get a whole booth because I don't want to try to have that much inventory, but if I get to be a part of like a little tiny table, okay. You know, okay. it's something. 
yeah. we can put it with crystals. Yeah, exactly. We can do that too. Yeah. Especially when I, since I like doing a lot of the Zodiac embroidery and I did, I have a thing of tarot cards now to do and like funky what? stuff. Yeah. I love I that. Mm -hmm. I love that. Okay. Okay. You heard it here first, people. Let's see what synchronicities come in and what opportunities are going to flow your way for that. That's, that's very cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, acceptance. I'm also, I, I did pull Esmeralda out and started typing her up this week, which was, uh, which was great. I got, um, and it, you know, it's, it's been, it was, it was fun to, to, to just type and see, and then see my own thoughts. Like when I was even writing it, like, I was like, Oh, this doesn't make sense. Doesn't worry. You know, don't worry about it making sense or being perfect. Just keep going, just keep going and see where it wants to go. And so, um, Good for you. accepting it where it is. And like, just, I, I just, I started, I did something tangible towards her because I would have been incredibly, um, sad if I let this entire 12 week series go where I've had this intention and not even addressed it, but it's like, I'm accepting that I'm creating a lot of other things right now. Um, and it's also important for me to remember that that my writing is something that I, you know, the writing just for the non-productive fun, <laughs> the non-productive, yeah. you know, yeah. and maybe it'll be a productive it's... writing someday. I mean, no matter what, it's productive in certain way because it is just um, not forcing me, but it does have me practicing my craft of writing. Mm. So, Very yeah. cool. Right. And then when uh, like the seven pages uh, to do to start the new book uh -huh. seven pages I got excited I said oh yeah because I want to continue journaling so that'll be I'll start that new journal with that task oh right? good with the seven yeah principles that she well all those wishes. The writer coming out of the closet you've been writing for non-stop for so long so much You're, you've got a little stagnation there right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or struggle or yeah there's some to sort of at. block yeah. 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 You know, there's something there that I've put on myself that, and I think it really is that, um, there, there must be some sort of attachment to an outcome that is scaring yeah. me enough that, you know, like, and, and, and then you just got to keep asking, well, what if, what if it sucks? So <laughs> what if it doesn't get published? What if it goes nowhere? It's like, well, I still had some fun dancing, you know, having Esmeralda talking to trees. <laughs> yeah, which is a huge assumption. All those what ifs, that's assuming. Yeah. yeah. Right. What if and it goes for doom? Assume right, on right. the other part. Assume on yeah. the other side. What if you're so right. amazing yes. that you're on, you know, Good Morning America? Man. Yeah. Yeah. But selling. Yeah. Live we don't take it personally <laughs> if people don't get it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's our problem. It's our problem. Right. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So it, it feels good to have had had the um, little nudge from you all, but also the, just the encouragement, like just do it, do it for doing its sake. I mean, seriously, like been sitting there for a year and a half, just collecting dust. So bring her to the light of day. And mm. yeah, so I've been playing with that. And like, what is success? And success is, I think, just showing up for ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, maybe write a letter to her. Does she need? Uh, you need to talk to her. Yeah, that Let is. Her that. write a letter to you. Esmeralda could write a letter to you. Yeah. And my thought was, let her breathe. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good one. Yeah. Let her come play. Yeah, because she's so joyful. She's so happy in her, in her enchanted forest. So maybe I'll play with her today. You know, I'm looking at my day going, okay, it's Sunday, uh, you know, and I have nothing, I have nothing ahead of me. And it's my last day of solitude before my beautiful children come back and infuse the house with their spirits and their chaos. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, yeah. Oh, good. I'd really like to hear how your college experience went while you were there over uh, 
over tea or a beer or whatever. Yeah. yeah. So that that'll be, come up. That will be fun. Yes. And then also just, um, I am looking forward, like uh, as far as moon circles go and times together. And I'm, I have a thought and I'm, I'm not sure that it's a good idea or not, <laughs> but there's going to be the, um, the solar eclipse on October 2nd. It's in Libra. So this is why I'm, I, I kept thinking there's going to be two eclipse where our next, besides this new moon that is on, um, on Monday, the second, where I think I'm going to just do a new moon, uh, new moon magi class. Uh, I think I'm just going to incorporate some new moon into that and not do anything else. I, I, I don't think I'm going to do anything big before Teotihuacan, but there's going to be a solar eclipse on the 17th of, uh, right before we go to Teotihuacan. And then right on the backside, there's going to be a lunar eclipse. And it's the lunar eclipse where I am thinking that I'd like to, to gather perhaps, but it's in, it's, it is in Libra. And I do have like Libra pretty active in my chart. I've got Pluto and Libra. Um, but thinking about just your space again and, um, bringing people together and maybe a sound bath and yeah. So you sparked my thoughts there when you said coffee or tea, I went straight to sound bath in your backyard. <laughs> yes, well, that sounds lovely. I have a Tibetan bowl and drum and a big drum and a, mm -hmm. yeah. And then all those friends. And I was thinking um, if we should invite, you know, the cosmic, uh, Pulse, yeah. Mm -hmm. Invite them and let you let it be known that there's a trip to Mexico to the to the pyramid. If you want to branch out that far, yeah. No, I've definitely um I've definitely put that put that out there. There's there's a major event happening. It's not in Boise. Yin on fire. Have you guys heard of that? That's happening the same. Uh, yes. there's an overlap. So a lot of people, like Cosmic Pulse people, are going to mm -hmm. Yin on fire. Um which I think is happening. I think it's in Southern Utah or Arizona somewhere. Um, but it's not always on the equinox. It just happens that we are overlapping. Uh -huh, I noticed year. that. But it's coming back from that, that I wanted to, um, to do something because I will be, uh, in between. And I'll talk a little bit more about this perhaps tomorrow on the call on the sixes, but I'll be in between the numerology class and the upcoming astrology class. And you guys and Teo are going to have a sneak peek ahead of um, everybody else. But I, I'm thinking that, yeah, this eclipse on the second, it's a Wednesday. Um, I feel like I'm being called towards that, but I also know that some people on eclipses just need to, um, you know, fetal position. <laughs> And I hope that's not me. Like, I hope that I would have the the strength and energy. So I'm just, I'm putting it out there and just seeing how it feels, even just to say it and, and think right, about Right, I do. Yeah. See what mm -hmm. manifests. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be considering that one. Um, and because I think back a year ago, mom is when we had the, um, you know, when Chloe came here and I guess it, it was the eclipse was later, it was towards the end of October, but we had the gathering of the divine when, when we all dressed up and had that fancy dinner party with Brandy and Matt, that was over the, um, the lunar eclipse, right? This will be a solar, is it solar eclipse. Oh, I get so confused. Yeah. I didn't think we would do for a solar eclipse for years. Could it be? Lunar? Oh, we're not going to. Yeah. Um, we won't experience it here. Uh, right. So it's the South solar, solar eclipse. So it's the solar South node eclipse on October 2nd in Libra. And then the uh, lunar North node eclipse is the next full moon on September 17th. That's a full moon lunar eclipse. And again, okay. we won't, I, I don't think we're seeing them here in the United States, but they, it happens at, yeah. We could still experience the ex eclipse energy of what that means, but there's, yeah, there's kind of a lot happening in September. Upcoming. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, Excellent. I got you. I have a question. Yes. Did anybody do um where do we go back to it? Dang it. Oh yeah, number seven on page 190, task seven. I just want to hear everybody's if you did. And one week's nurturing for yourself. That one. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. I I and that's what I was starting to write out, but I was doing it retrospectively about what it was the one nice thing that I did for myself every day. Um but I didn't, I didn't plan it out in advance. I was, but I had the intention last Sunday that I was going to do this and I yeah. made a point to do something every day. But for me, it usually meant because I'm alone all day, like going out to do something like go, I went to the moon circle. I went to the mm -hmm. pond and interacted with people. I went, what did I do on Thursday? Oh, Thursday. I took myself to see the beach boys, um, playing at the fair, but from, from the fee free seats and I just danced and it was fantastic. what I do on Friday? Oh, Friday, a girlfriend and I, we went to a singles mixer, which was really bold and courageous and fun. Yeah. And then yesterday I just hung out with my good, my dear friend Phoenix. And we went to, uh, I will be wearing something tomorrow in the class that, um, I created, but I'm going to save it for tomorrow. Um, just a really fun, fun event. It's on, I mean, it's on social media, so it's like, not like a big surprise that I made a headdress, um, a Magi headdress, uh, at this fun yeah. event, which was like, so cool. They were all making crowns for yin on fire. And I'm like, well, yeah, I'm not going to yin on fire, but I made a little, a little something. Cute, cute, cute. And then today it's yoga. Like, I think I'll, I'll go to my, um, I have a yin yoga class at the, on Sunday evenings that I really love. So yeah, I've been finding something like that. So I, I, mine has been more like activities. Has somebody else done it in a different way? I was just planning it out for the week and I didn't even, because when I read this, it was like Tuesday or th Wednesday. So I'm going to try to do it this week. But I mean, it's just a lot of it when she said binge, because I was being really boring at first. Okay. And then I read it and it said binge and I'm like, well, okay. So I just wrote all kinds of stuff down to do. Like, I don't even know if it's something I could do in this one week, but I, I figure if I look at a month, I can budget out the first Monday of the month or the second Tuesday of the month like oh, that. Because yeah. All my binging is <laughs> cha-ching. So I, yeah. I yeah. There's also I, that. You know, right. Yeah. Right. But yeah. Oh, that was the other thing I saw. I, I was passing yesterday. They've got the, um, at the Discovery Museum in Boise, right over by Julia Cameron Park, they have the mummies exhibit right now. Oh, that, I yeah. was like, ooh, I might go see the mummies <laughs> sometime this week. I want to do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna find out when they're open. I think and it's like it's last call. So it's at the end of it, you know, before they're gonna um, so I'll I'll look into that. But yeah, and I don't know how much it costs to go to that museum or anything and then that's where yeah but I think it's starting to develop that long-term plan like how are you going to continue to support yourself because here we are we're going to go into week 12 she's going to pull it all together with some beautiful um exercises and I know that my chapter 12 is all marked up um uh -oh. so, so much good stuff in this so we will um yeah, as we move into this, are you guys available next? It's Labor Day weekend next weekend, but next Sunday would be our wrap up, which would be September 1st for our final yeah. check. -in. Does that work? Yeah, okay. we don't have anything yes. going on. Okay, cool. So we'll do our final check in, but I would just say out of, you know, like this is, this is the finish strong moment. So wherever you've been and mom, are you, you're going to be in California? We'll be in San Francisco. Okay. Okay. Awesome. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I should so, be available. It'll be, I guess, nine o'clock. My 9 a.m. Yeah. To, yeah. to zoom from wherever, but just if you're able, like perhaps while you guys are driving um, to listen to some of the audible tasks, um, maybe find it in German. <laughs> listen to. <the laughs> Look at this. You get her attention. Yeah. So fast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And that just, would be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And 
Chapter 12 Audible. We have it. We do. We meaning you and me, Andrea, we do have the Audible. Yes, we do. OK. Yes. OK. Mm -hmm. But Auf Deutsch would be good for <laughs> Of Deutsch. <laughs> yeah. good, good, good. A, a good. book. Good. Yeah. I, I, will, I will show you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So it is the, yeah, start nurturing yourself. I love that idea also. And maybe that if, if you're unable to listen to it, mom, thinking about that nurturing, what's a nurturing thing you could do every day for yourself. Um, yeah. And um, yeah. Yeah, and movement, um, exercise, what else? Um, yeah, I did a long list of how to nurture myself. And one of them is for Mayor to hook me up with the Audible books so I can listen. Oh, oh yeah. 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 And that would be, that would be nice to have that in my ear. It is nice. It is helpful sometimes. And even, I mean, there have been many times where I'm, it, it's a paired activity where I'm listening and I'm walking you know, combining mm -hmm. the two together and getting and seeking the inspiration and allowing it to come in. And then, um, yeah, I like having both because I like seeing the written word and reminding, but um, yeah, that audible is great. So I'm just so thankful. I'm, I'm all, and I'm like going to almost get emotional, like just so thankful to somebody who, who responded to putting into form. And that's, you know, the structure that's like the Jupiter Saturn square that we have. It's like the, the dream, the idea, the creativity, and it got put into form. That's the Saturn. It's the Jupiter, the Saturn that Julia Cameron put this together that when we do not share our light, our, our creative projects, we don't know how many people we are denying an amazing experience. Um, I cannot thank her enough. Every every summer, I I learn something, and more than anything, I think this summer, is just this connection with with our group. I just feel really profoundly grateful for um, for you all showing up and um, being authentic with each check in and encouraging me and encouraging each other and um, allowing allowing what what wants to come in to come in. And so one more week of doing this and uh, we'll check in on Sunday and celebrate, celebrate. Yes. So really just enjoy this beautiful week ahead and um, yeah, allow your, your inner Esmeralda to play. <laughs> <laughs> to play. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Have a beautiful day and a great week and uh, see y'all tomorrow morning, different class, okay. different thing. And back oh, I, I won't, I won't be able to be live tomorrow. It's Are injection you, day. You'll, you'll be I, listening if you're yeah, able. Um, kind of, I'll probably be listening after, but okay. I Listen, might try to like, get in there as long as no one can see me then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, I understand. I understand that. So it's your treatment day. Okay. Good to know. Okay. All right. Hey. Much love, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, Bye everyone. Hugs. 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 hugs.